everyone and once again welcome back to my channel server again my name is dr lokendra singh and in this video we are going to discuss about very common and frequently asked interview questions related to devops so the first question the very first question is what is devops what is jenkins so jenkins is a java based tool which is used for build and deploy this tool is used to pull your code from J uh, github or maybe any other source code management tool and from there it will build it will put your code into artifact if it is if that is configured and after that that will push your code to different servers based on the configuration done okay so next question what is continuous integration so this is very important and uh, let us try to understand that so for example we have the multiple developers and managers as well so whenever their development is completed so they will check in the changes into source control server so this is git server or it could be maybe any other source code management tool then after this particular continuous integration server will fetch the code from source code management it will build then after a couple of test cases will, will get executed then after it will be deployed so if it is successful it will be deployed if it is failed then obviously continuous integration server it means jenkins server will push notification to manager as well as the developer who broke the build so this is known as continuous integration it means developer will push code to source code management it means git scm then after jenkins server will pull code it will build test and notify if it is successful it will deploy if it is failed then it will notify to developers okay so what is difference between ant and maven so first of all let us try to understand that ant and maven both tools are like uh, both are build tool main difference between ant and maven is like uh, maven came after ant and uh, it offers like couple of things such as like uh, it is more into like it is more like a build tool main difference between ant and maven is that and you need to define everything example source directory like where what is the source of your uh, code where you have kept all the things then after build directory build directory means when you are going to build a, a like a jar file or maybe war file so what should be your parent what should be your current working directory then after target directory will have to define it means once the build command will get executed so where the tar file will be created so these are the things which you will have to define moreover when we are talking about maven so maven maven adopts principle of convention of over configuration so it means by default it picks the predefined structure of maven so over there like you need not to define a standard directory uh, like it uh, picks the standard directory structure fine so test file and resources source file so everything you can pre configure with maven okay so what are components of maven and what are the phases obviously like there is a question what uh, like what are maven components and phases so there are th there are th like three components of maven so first of all is default clean and side so these these are three life cycle of maven now it it has uh, like uh, uh, it it further has multiple phases like default comes with 21 phase like uh, validate compile package install and deploy and there are many more so you can check that out now when we talk about clean so clean has three stages first of all is pre clean clean and post clean then after uh, when we run like maven clean install maven clean package so these are the command what we run so this this particular depends on like what particular tool we are going to use so it is pre clean clean or post clean so these are the particular things which are considered uh, by developers mainly fine so being devops obviously you should know it but if you do not know then developer can help you out with this then after site pre site site post site and site deploy so these are the particular phases of maven components so maven comes with three components default like default clean and site and furthermore it has multiple phases overall 28 phases it has like 21 in default three in clean and four in site okay so next question is like what are the scm it means source code management tool that jenkins supports so jenkins supports multiple tool and how does it support so it supports based on the multiple plugins so jenkins supports as of now, as of now like acrev cvs subversion git mercurial like uh, preforce 
like uh, clear case rtc so these are the tools which are currently supported by jenkins and if you really want to like enable these tools so you will have to enable jenkins plugins within your jenkins integration server okay so what is the relation between hudson and jenkins so if i tell you like there is no such uh, like relation so initially hudson was the main project uh, and it was managed by uh, IBM. So once there was a conflict between, so after that uh, the developer of Hudson directly declared it lies Jenkins. So both has uh, it's bo both have their own uh, identity, and Jenkins and Hudson are almost same. Okay. So like, what are advantages of you using Jenkins? So first of all, advantages like it is used for build and automation. It is used for CI/CD. It uh, supports multiple plugins, multiple environments. Like you can integrate AWS, you can integrate uh, like uh, Google Cloud and Git and multiple more components you can integrate with Jenkins as of today. It can build as well as deploy on multiple servers, maybe in simultaneous or maybe in parallel manner or maybe in like uh, sequential manner. That is that will be depending on the particular job type which you are going to define. Okay, so what are the plugins in Jenkins? So if you talk about plugins, so plugins are additional software component which enhance the utility of an existing software. So like, uh, like if you want to clone code from source code management, so obviously you will have to enable Jenkins Git plugin. If you want to like create a pipeline, so wherein you can define multiple component, multiple steps, like how Jenkins is going to work for you. So you can enable plugins and you can, you will have to enable Jenkins pipeline plugin. Okay. So next question is like, how do you clone Git repo in Git job? So whenever you go to configure Jenkins job, you will have to declare there that what, what is going to be source code. So if you declare none, so it means it will not clone. But once you declare source code and you click on git and after that you define your project path. So based on that, so definitely you will be able to copy the code from Jenkins. Sorry, you will be able to copy code from GitHub or maybe GitLab or maybe any Git Bitbucket, whatever source code management you have. So this is how you will be able to, as soon as you will execute your jobs. So Jenkins will pull the code from server and that will create a new folder with the name of job and it will pull code from Gen uh, Git and it will place inside Jenkins. So this is how you, you clone your Git repo into Jenkins job. Okay, so like uh, how do you build Java code with Maven in Jenkins? So Maven is a plugin which uh, is easily available on Gen uh, on Jenkins uh, like public platform. You can integrate that and after that once your code is downloaded, so you can run maybe uh, if it is pipeline, so you can run Maven clean, Maven install or Maven clean package, whatever command you want, you can run it. Fine. So you can define within maybe freestyle job, maybe within your pipeline, scripted or declarative pipeline, whatever you want, you can easily configure that. Fine. So I hope this is it for this video, this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time and happy learning from Server Gyan. If you have any further questions, so please do write in comment box. I shall be happy to assist on, the, on that. And uh, feel free to share and comment on this uh, videos. Thank you so very much. Have a good time. Thank you.